Who's back in time? I'm here. Good job, Zach. Way to be punctual. Back. Yay. Logan, I'm assuming you're back now? Yeah. What's up? Oh, nothing. We were just uh, mentioning the punctuality of everyone. We got here just in time. So now the real question is, uh, ooh, it's 2.46. Uh, it was um 41 when we called it, so we'll have a, maybe... No, we call it. We no, we agreed at forty, and then it turned over to forty-one immediately, which means it's still forty-five. The deadline. I'm not letting her have this. I pressed record when we when we agreed, and it's five minutes and thirty seconds after that moment. So I'm just gonna go ahead and call it. Kristen's late. Just gonna go ahead and uh, make that declaration. You're now so five officially... minutes after when we yep. called it. Yep. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, just saying, uh, Wayne and Chrissy. Oh, your mic's doing a weird thing right now, Logan. It's like pulsing. Mm. That's me eating a granola bar. <laughs> <laughs> I had some, uh, blueberry. Uh, that, am I uh, Ooh, mm. so good. That sounds delish. I'll have to bake some more bread tomorrow. How's the weather look for uh, you all? On well, Dad's saying tornado warnings. He just sent us a bunch of texts. Mm. He's gonna say it rained for a couple minutes out here and then it just stopped. I'm gonna check the weather real quick. Yeah. yeah what about you, Corey? Can. What's the weather like up by you? Uh, it's all right. Well, so I'm actually in. Oh, nice. So you're nearby. <laughs> I. I decided to be out here one just because, like, I don't know. It's it's to me. I feel more comfortable running around out here in the suburbs where, like, when I go running each day, just because there's less people and um, I don't know. Yeah, totally. Uh, and um, I don't know. Uh, our place downtown gets kind of cramped. At least here, I've got like you know more room to work with. Um, plus, yeah, the better desktop setup, and it's just easier to. It, my workspace is just nicer here, and um, uh, my parents always have a lot of food stocked. So ah, there it is. That's the uh, so that too. Um, like shit really hits the fan. Like being in the middle of a major city is not where you would want to be. Yeah, smart. Um, we got really, we got really lucky that we bought this house when we did. Yeah, <laughs> and that you were able to. Get it all closed uh, by this point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking. It looks like it's going to be a little worse tonight for us. Right now, mm. It's uh, we're kind of between storms. Mm. Obviously, stay safe. Let's know if y'all need anything. Sure thing, partner. That is by far the most annoying thing I picked up when I lived in the South, like in Mississippi yeah. and Louisiana, is you all. Because it, it yeah. immediately makes it... Oh. Everything that follows it just <laughs> sounds so, so, so the worst, and I hate it. Yeah. I um, so I'm playing. I also have a, a, a cyberpunk group that's been going on. We only we've only done like one long sesh day long session so far, but um, my character is um, uh, I named him uh, Silencio Santana, and he <laughs> is uh, he's a, so the the our campaign takes place in uh, Chicago and the. The uh, alternate future of 2020, and um, my character <laughs> came up. My character came up from Texas, and he was like a, a lawman, lawman out there. And then now he's like, a, he's a, what's it, a, a solo. What's so he's like a hired like? security, hired security, hired hitman, kind of basically like a fighter class, basically. Cool. Oh, nice. Straight up, just a fighter, like well rounded and all that for for at least for combat. Um, but, uh, but basically when I'm in character, I talk with a sudden accent and, uh, it's, and it's hard to, it's, you know, I, I try to like stay in character the whole time, uh, even when I'm just talking to the, the, the GM or whatever. 
I'm uh, the Harry Potter one off here soon. So oh, that's cool. Kind of had our session zero. They're playing through. Everybody's playing uh, as first year students at a D and D magic school called Pig Willy. <laughs> um, and they all uh, will go through Big classes. They will. <laughs> um, Pig Willy sort of... sounds like a brand of pork grind slogan. It, Pig Willy's is so funny to me. Um, yeah, that's I'm, really good. I'm excited for it. Um, I have classes. I have rules for wizards chess. <laughs> I have. Um, I'm giving everybody the chance to either take place in an extracurricular or study, and I will try to bribe them with study by giving them awesome spells that people always want, like find familiar. <laughs> but oh. That sounds like a really fun game. I'm though. excited. We're going to have to do it all digitally, so I'm putting together a PowerPoint, and I commissioned mm. somebody to do some art. So it's going to be like Persona, where there will be a background, and I can click, and somebody will come on screen. Yeah. Huh. Kristen, are you here and you just muted or are you are you gone? Kristen, are you there? It's me, Corey. Dan, what's that? You vaping. Oh. Kristen, <laughs> is it? What? Did you say? I said it's cotton. Oh. Uh, nice. Kristen, you back by yes. Me. Okay, I was just about to text you. No, we're good. Sorry. No, you're good. Hey, I do want to say undeniably waiting on Chris. Yeah, I know that one. Is, that one's on me. Actually, it was on my cat, but no, oh. cats. Cats make it different. Um, yeah. What did What did Matt do now? Did he play with the ball of yarn? No, he's literally been sleeping <laughs> this whole time. All right, so last time you guys got, well, you guys were ambushed by a drake because of Radish's interest in a cactus. Uh, you guys escaped. Radish almost died. You uh, um, formulated a plan to um, outwit this drake, and you ran from it, and you were kind of saved by a mysterious wandering figure with a stone mask that fought the drake as you guys escaped and uh captain bretta and nicola stayed behind to uh help this guy and uh now you guys are far enough away from uh the battle to uh make your next move so what are you going to do we should probably move uh deeper into the mountains and then maybe make camp for um if if they, if they're it's able to still the movies. morning. Oh, like oh, you guys, maybe, maybe, <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys woke up early, and maybe that chase took like thirty minutes. Time. Um, quick question: Does anyone know the direction that we're supposed to be going? Out? Everyone, make a survival check. <laughs> oh, I'm good at that. <laughs> no, kind of. Uh, let's see. Roll the fourteen plus. I got a nat 20. Ooh, oh, I got, a, I got a three minus one, so thank I, goodness. I got a 14, so I probably have a general idea, but... Uh, I got 13 total. Nat 20. Um, How do I justify this? I mean, she has a good sense of direction. She yeah. knows the direction we came in. Yeah, uh, you definitely know the, the direction that you've came in, but you also pick up the tracks of some of your horses. Yes. And you uh, follow them a little ways. Yes. And you find uh, three horses <laughs> just kind of uh, very startled wandering about. And um, uh, you uh, I guess you, you gather them up, you round them up, and now you have three horses to get you back home. Which you know the direction of. Do we still have the two other rangers with us? Uh, actually, yeah, I forgot about them. The two unnamed rangers are with you, and they are astounded at um, Belladonna's uh, ability to find horses. <laughs> so yeah, I guess in your party, you have your, your normal party, 
you have uh, Herbert Goldlock and Lance Watt and these two humans that you've never asked their names. That's fine. Um, let's start <laughs> headed home then. Yeah, why ask their names now? It's yeah. been like three If days. they speak, we have to pay them more. So. Yeah, they're just extras. <laughs> so yeah, you got a pretty good group. Um, what is that? For, you have eight people, so um, you could probably fit six on those horses that you <coughs> found and two people could walk. Uh, I think we know the two people who are stuck walking. Correct. The Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we ne- they never had names, so that means they don't got a personality. They look as, a little as... dejected. Like, uh, we have other lives outside of this. <laughs> what did we say uh, about talking? <laughs> so, I, are you... I think I'm going to try and ride with Belladonna. Yeah, how are oh. you? Bu- how are you buddying them up? <sighs> I'll ride with Bruntor. Uh, that's cool. We used to that. Who's you wanna, driving you the horses? Drive or I'll drive the horse. I'm I'm definitely definitely driving. Driving. That's fine. <clears throat> uh, because you got a nat twenty, I'm not gonna make you do any animal handling. Thank you. Um. Yeah. So you know the the general direction. It'll take you about two days to get there. Same as kind of how you got out. All um, right. So you set off in that direction. Do you want to keep a lookout for anything? I'm um, definitely going to try to keep a lookout for um, our friends and uh, for that that thing in the mask. Okay. Make a perception roll. Anyone doing lookout? Okay. Ooh, there we go. Uh... Uh, 14 uh, 17. plus 5. I got a 21. 21? 21. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing it I rolled, back. I rolled a nat 20. I rolled a 20. 20 total? A nat 20? I rolled a nat 20. Uh, wow. Uh, this is <laughs> going really great for you guys. You uh, travel along. You uh, do see some wildlife. Some scavs are following you. Just uh, two of them. Some of the scavenger bird lizard-like creatures. Um, uh, They do not have the red crest on them, so they're not the mimicking. That's good. And as you're rolling along, you find a small, uh, like a pool of water with some plants, and that looks like a good place to set up camp. Oh, nice. A little oasis. Yeah, a little oasis. And you have some plants here, Brunchor. Oh, I'm going to take good care of these boys. Yeah, with that 20, uh, you, you find a good succulent. You find a red desert flower. Oh. And uh, there is some cactus, but you can't, like, <clears throat> you could maybe cut off some of it and, like, eat it. But um, you can't take it with you, really. Oh. That's a bummer. Yeah, those things are hard to dig up. Uh, they're a lot. They're, they've got a different structure than you'd expect. There's also some uh, frog-like creatures. Like uh, they have uh, two legs um, and a long kind of tadpole tail, and they're just, just kind of swimming in the water there at the oasis. All right. uh, they're uh, roughly the size of like a. Um, uh, a chihuahua or something like they're fairly big for frogs but not like big and monstrous or anything a corumba they're uh mud skippers oh um as we set up i'll um start cooking our, our meal for the night now out of the rations that they outfitted us with okay um everyone's gonna uh be good for the night and i'll say this is there's like kind of a uh outcropping around this pool so um if you are going to do watch i'm not gonna have you roll because this is a really good spot mm. this is kind of like where the 20 is you guys did some really good rolls yeah <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah so you, you know <laughs> you know you are safe for the night if you sleep here 
Um, I'll talk with with Andrew as we're sort of eating dinner if we have a chance here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, hey, um, Andrew, um, I hope you you like the mushroom bake I made. That. Um, I wanted to ask you. Uh, did you have you ever seen any? I know you're well read. Have you ever seen anything like that before? Somebody See? in a mask. Uh, oh, the mask thing. I thought you were talking about the big thing that tried to eat us. You're hung up on the mask guy? I, I, he moved like, like something I haven't seen before. And I start, I, like a kid excited retelling a movie, I start doing the, and he was doing this, and there was like a kick like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was there. Mm -hmm. Come on. If you want, you can do a, uh, history or, yeah, do a history check if you want to know anything about that mask man um can i help him somehow do a history check yeah sure okay so like you could be explaining his... all the details of this guy i start doing the moves in slow motion you know like i was thinking more like describe the mask which was oh. just kind of like a f- flat stone surface like it wasn't like rounded to his face mm-hmm. it was just flat like a slab wow. with a, with a blue circle and a line going down it. Mm. That uh, that advantage uh, helped me get plus one more, so that's going to be 13 total. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you actually don't know anything about this person or what they were wearing. It's really outside the knowledge of anything that you know, which is um, saying a lot because you, you know a lot. Yeah, I, uh, and, book, you're one of them book reader dudes. And I and I think the most I would be able to tell you is like you you would basically just be like, I mean, there's plenty of masters of fighting that exist in the world. I don't well I can't I can't just identify <laughs> just a single master. Sorry. Well it was it was worth a try. Thank you. Um mm-hmm. did you 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 knew that you saw the part where he did this, right? Mm-hmm. Still yeah. was there. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. Well, if you remember anything, let me know. I wish I could move like that. Um, Dan, just you, you wanted to come along because you wanted to meet these explorer people. Um, mm-hmm. Herbert and, and Lance have set up camp, and they are kind of talking to themselves. I, and I think that once they're settled, he would go over and just be like, "Hello, fellas. Um, oh, how, how are you all?" We're doing wonderful now that we are outside of that cave and free of that monster, but uh, we will be much more happy once we're home. No, uh, I mean, yes, of course. Great. Um, I was just wondering what... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a uh, person of learned background. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was, uh, I was cleaning the dish. <laughs> I'm a I'm a person of learned background. I was just curious, what are your like areas of expertise as it comes to this land and this island? Um, Herbert kind of looks over at Lance, and Lance is writing something in a uh, in a journal, and he like closes it and looks back. Um, Herbert just says, "Oh, uh, we're with the Explorers League, and we had." Uh, heard rumors of a uh, a fossil that we were going to uh, try and see what we could learn from it. Just looking for fossils around that area. It's a very fossil rich environment. Ah, so you're into uh, old dead stuff, huh? Um, kind of weird. Oh boy, I rolled something for them like yes! <laughs> we now- love dead things that's uh, what fossils are we love we absolutely love dead uh you kind of know that he is looking very um something isn't looking very good at all saying um can i roll an insight to try and pin that down yes <sighs> oh my boys uh, that's 14. Okay, he rolled a 4 on his line, so... Um, <laughs> uh, you know that they weren't looking for fossils. 
And oh. I, I think Andrew goes, that's so interesting. Because and they aren't they, they weren't looking for dead things either, if that was your assumption any or... Yeah, I, and I and I think that I think that, that will that will come up. I I was I was trying to see whether or not that was part of it, but it seems like they're lying completely. Mm-hmm. Um, that's horseshit. I'm just gonna go ahead and <laughs> you're just gonna call it out on that. Just gonna call it uh... out on that. Um, look, here's the thing. Well, I know we came with the Rangers. I I don't particularly care for uh, some rules and regulations when it comes to searching for things. Trust me. So I'm just curious. What were you actually doing out here? Roll persuasion with advantage. There we go. Uh, that's 19 total. 19? Like, uh, they kind of bring you in. It's like, okay, uh, keep this quiet, one scholar to another. Mm-hmm. It wasn't fossils that we heard rumors about, but uh, a uh, ruins of some kind of uh, ancient culture. Ooh. Ooh. Well, surely you've heard of the ancients, right? History? Yeah, roll history. 17? 17? Uh, Yeah, you know, um, the ancients were the first race on this uh, this world. Wonderful. They uh, helped the gods um, fight back the elements. And um, the elder gods, uh-huh. um, and then they just disappeared, and nobody knows why. But they were highly advanced. Some would say almost on the level of gods. <clears throat> Andrew goes that here on this island that exists. We just wanted to check it out. Uh, a discovery of this type would be beyond in- anything that we could imagine. I know that's cri- how what how did you hear about it and where in the world is it supposed to be in this desert area? Uh, what was your persuasion? Nineteen, just as a reminder. It's like oh, uh, yeah, nineteen. We heard from a source in the Explorers Guild. Uh, he occasionally goes out and does some reconnaissance in the area. His name is Branson. Branson Sid. Interesting. He's not with the League, but he does give us a heads up time to time in his travels. We just wanted to um, you know, we just wanted to get a heads up before anyone else in the guild sets out and took this discovery as their own, you know? Oh, I certainly do know. And you said it's in the desert? You still didn't answer that part of it. Yes, it is, the, it is somewhere in the desert, but we were caught off guard. Fair. I, to be fair, so were we. So that's fair. Um, interesting, interesting. Is there anything in particular about this... Well, actually, this might be part of that history check that was a 17. Has, have we found ruins of theirs before? The academic. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. Actually, that's kind of how the Empire became so advanced in its, um, in its technology, was kind of uh, studying ancient ruins. Um, it's where the Empire learned how to um, use Arcanium, which is mm-hmm. like a a mineral slash energy crystal. Um, okay, crystals, love it. Yeah, you know that they were advanced enough to build like um, autonomous golems and stuff. That was like their specialty. Yeah, and I think uh, I think Andrew will just go. Wow, that's crazy. When we get back, what's your what are you going to do next? Are you going to come back out here? Uh, we might work up some funds, come back out with a larger party, maybe hire some hunters to get rid of the beast. Interesting. Well, if uh, 
we happen to run into each other, you'll have to tell me about what you found and uh, where it is so I can come visit. Oh, certainly. If you ever need us, we'll be back at the uh, with the League in St. Dennis. St. Dennis. Yeah, the, the you know, St. Dennis is the capital. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I think we're going to go back there and recuperate a little bit and do some more planning. Sounds good. Well, I know we were trying to get to St. Dennis eventually, so uh, I will I will look up the adventures. Thank you so much. I, uh, from one scholar to another, I'm, I'm intrigued at the opportunity of working with you all again. Now, what was that about dead people? Hmm? Never mind. <laughs> and they uh, go know. back. That's fine. They uh they go back to their uh, whispering, and uh, Lance goes back, or yeah, Lance goes back into uh, writing in his journal. Now, with that insight check I rolled before, that seemed like the truth. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I guess um, you take turns keeping watch, by which I mean you leave the two humans that have yet to be named mm-hmm, mm-hmm. on watch. Human, human men one and two. Yeah. <laughs> men, men. Um, I'm only human men. The flesh and blood are made. The uh, next morning you wake up and continue your journey. Um, Anyone hey, um, who wants to can do lookout with perception. Yeah. Uh, Let quick me question. Roll. Nobody came back in the night. We we haven't seen. No, else. you haven't heard or seen anyone else. All right. Mm, somebody else is going to want to do perception because they got a nine. Always. I'd be... Oof. Yeah. Well, guess what? Eight. Uh, Let that ride. That sounds like fun. Okay. You know what? I got an. I think I got a nine. Yeah, nine total from me. Oh no! Oh now, Logan, no! You just got. Now I feel like you got it just to see. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not. I'm not. But if I were, oh, I would have rolled a two. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're. Seven. You're hmm. walking along, and uh, let me roll something. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Please it's God. Completely uneventful. You uh Ooh. find your way back onto a main path and and uh you know for sure that this is the way back to Flanders Landing. Uh another hour or two and, and you can see the, the town right below and you make your way there and do the well, do you guys want to go back to the ranger station? What are, what is your plan? Probably the I'm gonna go steal that yeah, horse yeah, thing. Yeah, like we should report in on this tragedy of two missing, probably killed in action, rangers. That's where we get paid, too, so. I want to steal the horse again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, you, you uh, pass by the stables on your way there, and uh, what was his name? Billiam. <laughs> Billiam yeah. the half-orc <laughs> sees you guys coming, and he uh, goes to the stable doors and puts a lock on it. <laughs> And just kind of waves and squints at Belladonna as she goes by. <laughs> she waves and winks as saying, like a lock would stop me. Oh. Uh, Zach, a quick update. Um, I have written down that his name was Bilbert. Bil- I think it was Billiam. Let me check real quick. Billiam makes way more sense. Oh, no, it is Bilbert. Bilbert. <laughs> <laughs> Can we retcon his name? His, his brother, Billiam. Who puts the lock on uh, and Bilbert uh, yeah. shakes his fist at you. <laughs> um, you get... What is the... Oh, Dan. Dan. Oh, Dan. Dan. What? Oh, that boy. Was some, that was some background noise, man. What happened? You're huffing, know. dude. You're just huffing. <laughs> no, that, I, I muted myself for that. that. <laughs> it sounded like a fan or something in the background. Oh, yeah. If it, if it gets turned up too loud... You can hear my computer fan. I got boom mic, so it picks up everything. Oh, dang. <clears throat> uh, my bad. You, make, you make your way back um, to the ranger station. Uh, you get off your horses. You get everything you need. Um, uh, a couple of the rangers come by to check up on you, and um, uh, the two unnamed men 
Uh, hold on. Our Commander Commander Breda was kind of our um, in charge here. So uh, hold on a second. Actually, if you want to hang around, uh, you can. We're gonna wait. A, we're just gonna kind of wait here and see what what's going on at the moment. Yeah, I I have time to wait. Um, brunch or do you have time? Got nothing but time. Um, and I think Andrew turns to the two explorers we found and goes, two headed to Saint Dennis. Uh, we think we'll be holed up a little while. Um, I got probably time. gonna get a place in town. Yeah, I've got plenty wait of time. For, it seems. Wait for the next ship to come in and ferry on down to Saint Dennis. Time to kill. <laughs> Well, time to die. That's good. See you later. Oh, we have no time to die, actually. Okay, well, that for a while. So not for a, yeah, not for another six months at least. Oh, okay. See you later then. And they uh, they walk off back to town. Wonderful. Um, so we wait. It is like evening right now quickly turning to night we should head to the inn you uh wait a couple hours and s- still no word back and then uh one of the unnamed humans comes out and says actually uh would you guys mind coming back uh next morning um yeah we can stay at at an inn for tonight um do you have lodgings here we could stay at We've got those free lodgings from the time you made Oh, never mind. Yeah, I forgot those yeah, were free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, we killed the Rat King. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's you guys. Uh, that's yeah, the last that's time yeah, we will ever see you. We did that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to know my name? No, you know, this is the last time we'll ever see you. Let's not soil it with such trivialities as names Don't know how to spell things. Well. All right, let's... bye. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah. You guys still have a few free days left at the uh, at the um, Red Pot Pub. If you guys want to hang there, yeah. um, is there anything else that you want to take care of now that you're back in town? Not at the moment. I would like to steal the horse. Please don't steal the horse. Right now, <laughs> please don't steal the horse. No, I won't steal the horse. <laughs> Okay, you head back to the pub. Um, Zoomy's there, uh, still working. He's like, "Oh, you're back. How's it been? I guess oh, no. I, I offered you a week, and uh, a week you shall have." Well, we appreciate it because we need a place. So, <laughs> uh, rooms are the same. He hands you the, your keys, um, and uh, just lets you do whatever you you want. Yeah. Jump on the beds. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we want. Uh give me an acrobatics roll. Alright. Uh I rolled then let's see, that's a nine plus one is ten total. Yeah, that's some good bed jumping. Alright, cool. <laughs> Did we were were we sharing a room brunch or did we have like a double or something? I would have thought we had yeah, I yeah. thought we had like a bunk. Okay, bed. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll to this, uh, jumping on the jumping on a bunk bed. What? How would you do that? Oh, if very careful, Logan. You don't. We we would jump off the bunk bed. Remember, Logan? Oh yeah, we would jump. Oh, off don't you remember that? And then like run back up real quick. Yeah, and get, and get into trouble. I roll. Oh yo, I rolled a nat twenty on this jumping on the bed roll. <laughs> You're doing flips off this bunk bed. Just right. <laughs> Wait, did you think bruv, you doing 20? really good? Yeah, nat 20, uh, plus 6, so I rolled a 26. <sighs> bruv. What can I give Some you? Some good jumping. Because <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, you do it and it's super good. The best possible outcome for jumping on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that I am would open be, to suggestions. I, get, I guess that would be, I don't get in trouble with, like, the landlord, like, the room isn't hurt. Yeah, I have no, a suggestion. The landlord- comes up and sees you jump out and is like, hey, that's really fucking cool. <laughs> I have a suggestion. Yeah? Can he learn some sort of like new trick 
by doing this so well. <laughs> Like, like some new action, like he has like a cool backflip move that he can use during <laughs> fighting sequences. I don't know what. How about this? You can never be sneaked up on while you're asleep because you can instantly flip out of bed. Oh my mm. god, that's so is that good. good. I think good. It's that is good. I like that. Wow, I can never be so at any point. Like if we were going to sleep and somebody was trying to jump us in a second i could be on my feet that yeah, is they could still jump you but you would be ready for it you wouldn't be prone yeah like i like that you'd hear like a, to, a, a twig snap, and then kindle. you'd instantly be up and ready to fight damn uh, <laughs> while i'm back fl flipping i have a uh, a moment in where i'm like Fucking, I could use this camping. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome for the great, great idea. I'll, I'll be here all week. I'm, I'm Everyone is rolling 20s. This Get is ready a good for the bed times. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, the next morning you head back to the ranger station. Uh, Bretta still wasn't in. Hmm. Um, uh, Bretta and Nicola are still missing, and uh, people are kind of on edge and getting worried. I'm worried. Stay all right. Um, they were out there fighting a drake. Is there anything we can do? Could we bring... Um, I, I don't know what your name rangers are able to do, but would we be able to bring some more folks back out there to, to check on them? Um... Some of the rangers hear you asking this, and like, I pray. All respect to Captain Bretta, but um, we're not going out there for a Drake. I don't think so. That would take at least 15 good men to take down. And Captain Bretta and Nicola were our best. Oh. Um. That sucks. Is there anything we can do? Do you can you send some scouts out and, and see if they're okay? Can you Um one of the unnamed humans stands up. Not you, you. <laughs> <laughs> He sits back down. God damn it, I am sick and tired of you. <laughs> do you actually say that? No, of course not. Okay. Yeah, he stands up dramatically and says, Me and this other guy <laughs> will go out and look. It's the least we can do. Yeah, if they die, this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we just ask one thing. Yeah, that's great. We'll check in tomorrow to see if you guys are okay. We want you to know our names. Should we die out there? <laughs> oh, I'm out fine. the door. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down or something. I don't know. Uh... Uh, yeah, so you have the, the day to yourself. You can either wait there, or I've compiled a list of places that you could kind of check up on. Ooh. Um, there's the Red Pot Pub. There's uh, mm -hmm. Flanders General Store, which you've been to. The Stables, which you've been to. Have we, there's, though? Uh, oh, it's... One, one Brother Smithy. <laughs> <coughs> And uh, there is one more. It is um, kind of on town next to the um, town hall. There's a, a kind of like a saloon called um, Riley's. Riley's. Called Riley's. Oh. It's kind of like the higher class pub and inn. Andrew's going to Riley's. If there's, there's also the docks. Which you came in on? Yeah, the box I would, good. I wonder if I can pick up a day job. If I can, just for a day, I don't know, do backflips in this. You know what? Actually, I'm going to meditate for the day. Um, I think that's what I'll do. I, I'm I gonna hang out in the back alley, see what, or see what good fun stuff's going on back there. The back alleys. Yeah. Are you all going as a group, or are you splitting up? Oh. Uh, uh, We'll say I, maybe. Do we make plans? Because like, I think to meet you were expressly warned by the sheriff to stay away from the back alleys. 
Oh, did he? I forgot. Yep. Right, I was um, going to go and I mean, get you some could. Potions. No, do you guys want to stick together or not? You haven't been paid yet, so you don't have a lot of money. Right. I was going to go and get some potions because I uh, apparently don't have any, and I apparently need them. Okay. Oh, it's 20 degrees. It's cooler here in the shade. <laughs> um, I, th I think I'll, I'll tag along with someone then. I think that if no one's going to go to Riley's, he would feel immediately like, oh, well, I don't have the actual muscle, so I'm going to just stick with them. I'll go, yeah, I'll, yeah, we can go wherever you guys want to go. It doesn't matter. I um will spend the day uh, training, I think, because I don't really have money to spend somewhere. Um, so um, I let them know where I'll be, and I'm just, you know, doing some kata, doing some practices, doing... Um, Doing probably some workouts that at level two don't look really impressive, but are actually really hard to do. So, all right. So then, Antro, do you want to go somewhere? Yeah, uh, sure. I'm uh, I'm up I'm up for anything. Where 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 would you like to kill some time? Uh, I I don't know. I guess uh, go to the go to a pub if you want, or whichever one you want. It doesn't matter. Belladonna, you're going to this store. Am I understanding that correctly? Yes. All right, maybe we could go uh, to the store, and then afterwards we can go to uh, the pub. That sounds good. That sounds fine to me. Let's do. It's like a good day. All right, you go to uh, um, Flanders General Store. You've been there before to pick up some traveling material. Um, there's that uh, halfling woman in there. Is it? Oh hey, hey, you guys are back. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, surprisingly. Yeah, it's us. We here. Unfortunately. Uh, what can I do you for? Um, I need some potions. Oh, like healing potions. Uh, do you have other kinds of potions? No, we 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 barely have any healing potions. We have one. Then I'll take that. <laughs> All right, it's uh twenty gold. I'm panicked by us buying all the potions. I do not have 20 <laughs> gold. Yeah, that's a lot of gold. Uh, I, I can offer you 14. Do a persuasion check, just for fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's uh, 24. Yeah, no, I'm not cheap. Take that shit somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> For a 24? What? I got a 24 persuasion. You, oh, I thought you said 14. And no, I said I got a 24, my guy. I got oh. a 19 plus... Uh, oh, six. okay. Uh, I can bring it down to about 18. Or 25. I can bring it down to 18 if any of your friends want to help you. Did you guys come in with me? I mean, yeah. I mean, we did, but uh, I only got like non gold. I got, I got, I only have, I only have fourteen. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's where I, I got have. fourteen. Okay. Well, it'll still be here if you want it. Can, bye bye. <laughs> can, can I take it? Can I sleight of hand this bitch? <laughs> Go ahead, do sleight of hand. Um, eighteen plus five. She so turns around for a second, and it's gone. Yes! <laughs> oh, you did. I uh, just go. Okay, bye. And <laughs> let's walk out. See you later. Come back if you want to buy this healing potion. <laughs> Will do. That I, that I have. <laughs> I have a healing potion if you want to buy it. I'm just reiterating. Oh, yeah, we definitely Manage will. Equipment healing potion. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's a, a potion of healing. Does uh, 2d4 plus 2 for healing? 2.
you guys can keep going. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, you guys heading to um, uh, Rileyus? I think that's the way Andrew would start heading and trying to convince them to do it if they don't care. Yeah, it's pretty but, close. It's just like down the street from the general store. I'm good with that. Uh, yeah, you open it up, um, and it is, um, yeah, two d four. Sorry. You're fine. So what um, we do? You oh. you go down the street to Riley's. It it's a old timey saloon with the slingy with the swinging door and everything. Uh, oh, nice. You um walk on in and it's um uh, nicer patrons, nice. Nicely dressed for this kind of area, um, leather hats, that kind of thing. Cool. Um, you um, do see your friends there. Um, good old uh, her is kind of sitting in a corner booth. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, you're free to just kind of take a, a seat wherever you want. There's also a bar where you could reasonably order some food. Good. Uh, uh, I'm. I'm just. You no, know, I'm gonna try and get us a ride with these boys to Saint Dennis, since it seemed like everyone wanted to head that way originally. And sounds like we'll be on a boat. You can, you'd like that, Belladonna? <gasps> a I like boat. To, I want to be on a boat. A ferry. So I want to be on a boat and go in fast and not a cool theme Pashmina <laughs> Afghan. Oh, my God. oh, Belladonna also does have the uh, safe passage or whatever. Right? Uh, yes. What is like, it? Something to do with boats. Basically, she, she can secure. Yeah. Oh, nice. I well, can't remember let, where I put it though. Let's see. Let's see what I can do with these, and then worst case scenario, we we use that for right. We are we are technically here due to crimes, and I do not know, but I suspect that they will not allow us to just get on any old boat. Um, so if we can, if we can kind of blend in with these boys and kind of be part of their entourage, maybe maybe we can skip past security. Say, so big guy, do crimes. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to them. But- all right. Uh, they see you coming, and they make room in the booth for you. They Gentlemen, know you. it's so good uh, to see you. What's up, boys? How's it going? Ah, uh, nice to see you too. How are you doing after our little adventure? We're fine. We uh, we we got back with you all and waited for the Rangers. They didn't come back. Who would have guessed? Uh, oh no! Who it's too bad. God. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not me. They seem like such good people, too. They, they'll be missed. They certainly will be, but they're in the belly of that drink, and it's fine. So, um... Callous, maybe... but we're rich, so who cares? Exactly. Uh, we're all here extremely rich. Now, speaking of... Uh, we're all capitalists. Uh, we all know that sometimes that's the cost of uh, the economy. <laughs> <laughs> oh Indeed. God. Uh... Um, we know we know that you all were planning on headed to St. Dennis. How again did you say you were planning on doing that? Because we, our group was also talking about heading to St. Dennis, and I figured, you know, given given what have transpired in the past, maybe we could uh, help you get there. Oh, I don't think we'll need any help. We'll just we're just going to stay here for a couple of days and wait for a ferry to come in. Ah, uh, come we on, will secure. Passage on a on a ferry and be right home. Oh come on, you blokes don't want any adventure. You don't want no, to see no, the. No 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 brunch brunch. We we were well. I mean, you know, anything can happen on the sea. So we were trying to come with you on the boat, right, brunch or? Uh, exactly. We was gonna yeah. We was gonna go give you guys uh, a comp, give you some nice protection from all the watsits that they could could face out on them seas. Exactly. So not 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 that you would be in danger to need us, but just 
you know, traveling in groups, traveling with people, you know, it makes it a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more. Makes the time go by faster. Exactly, exactly. So we. I'll uh, tell you what, how about we buy you guys a drink? What'd you say? Uh, if you want to buy him a drink, yeah, sure. All right, how much um, is it? What's the menu? What's the drink cost? Uh, just regular ale and wine is uh, two silver pieces. All right, I've got, uh, is it gold or silver that we got? We got gold, but if you just put it into uh, D&D Beyond, you can remove it. And it... Okay. Yeah, Maybe silver, I think, is like 10 gold. Or, no, uh, 10 silver is one gold, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to reduce my... I'll, I'll, I'll take... I'll, and Andrew says, I'll take this one, and goes and orders some wine for them. Uh, two wines? Mm-hmm. All right, that's uh, four silver pieces. Okay. I want me to buy drinks uh, for you and me, so that way, uh, you know... We 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 share drinks with them, so they don't think we're trying to, you know. No, sure. I don't. <laughs> what would, what would you like to drink brunch or uh, as, as he's like straining? Uh, you know, like uh, I was saying, I wasn't saying this out loud. Obviously, I'm not that dumb. Uh, you said in your character voice. You <laughs> it's so I, hard. I, to I, tell no, it. I'm trying to stay. In, I'm staying in character. Staying okay. in character. Okay. Usually means talking as the character would talk, the same voice as the yeah, character. Yeah, it's really confusing. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, no, it's so funny. I think um, staying okay. in the character when they like, if you're up to the um um, you know the the what's it table and be like, can you get me agent on the phone, lad? <laughs> um, uh, uh, Andrew, uh, what 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 do you want to eat, drink brunch or? Uh, whatever, whatever you just got for them. What was it? The red wine? Ale it is. That's cheap, right? Uh, yeah, that's fine. How yeah, much is that? It's just uh, three copper for ale. Oh, all right, then, more yeah. Math, you absolute mad lad. Yep. Okay, and I also got a wine. Um, all right. I want whiskey. Are you there? I, I came with them. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> we hold it together. That's uh, uh, one silver piece, then. That's all That's all you, Belladonna. That's fine. Sure you don't want to try and steal it? <laughs> Listen, I could, but you know what? I come back with the four drinks, and I'm assuming Belladonna comes back with me with her whiskey. Yes. So, um... um... What, do you know when the next ferry is coming in for sure? Or is it just kind of a wait and see deal? It's just kind of a wait and see. We came in about uh, a week ago. So I'd assume maybe four or five days till the next ferry. Wonderful. Um, great. Uh, well, that gives us some time to wait for the dead uh, rangers to come back. And then we can all hop aboard. Sound. Oh. Really looking for travel companions, but um, roll a persuasion. Yeah, of course. You can yeah. add plus one to that. Oh, it's still bad. That's nine total. Uh, are you looking for extra ship hands? We're not. We're just going to book passage. <laughs> Never mind then. You you could um. This isn't them speaking, but you could always try and find a, a ship, like a ferry as well and find um, I'll allow you that since you got the ship's passage. Yeah, can I just go while they're talking, can I just go to see if I can scope out other people that have You want to go to the docks? Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, that conversation isn't going to go anywhere unless you want to ask something else of them. Uh, so you guys aren't scared of the, uh, the blood bladder beast, are ya? We have never heard of such a thing, should it exist. Oh, you guys ain't out of it. Oh, I heard that it's been uh, hanging out around the seas. What's on the way to St. Dennis? Uh, a real big, big bugger that thing is. I heard it, like, snap the ship in half, like, the other day. 
Roll a deception. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a four, and I don't have any modifiers. <laughs> they don't know if it's some stupid thing your whole you you've heard, or if you're lying to them, but they don't believe you. Right. It's like yes, we'll we'll keep an eye out for it. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not too worried. It's your guys' your puny guys' funeral. I, I think Andrew just goes well. Um, that's fine. Enjoy the drinks, and and uh, if you hear a fairy coming in, let us know. We'll do the same. All right. We'll do. They uh, hold up their glasses, and uh, yeah, as you walk away. Great. Um, Belladonna travels down to the docks. Are you yes. joining her? Yeah, I'm trying uh, to catch up to her. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll run. All right. Uh, as as we catch up, I go, Belladonna, I really need to know what's in the journals. I'm just trying to get them to sail with us. Sorry, I'm sorry. I should have let you know. Um, so if you can get us a passage that we can get them on board for free is like sweetening the pot. Be- she she just puts up uh, her finger to her lips and goes, shh, and then taps the side of her head and then just keeps walking. Oh, oh I... Does that mean you're on board, or okay? <laughs> uh, you make your way down to the docks. It's not big. It could probably serve only two large ships at a time. There are like smaller docks kind of nearby for uh, small fishing vessels and rowboats. Um, there is also a small like booth kind of by the docks um, with a human inside, just. Sleeping. Uh, hmm. uh, did you? I know you said there were little boats, but is there any larger boats around or no? Not at the moment. Okay. Not any like ocean sailing boats. Uh, she's gonna go up to the person at the desk and like slam her hand down. Oi! Wake him up. Yeah, he wakes up. Is like, oh no, oh, it's just, it's just a customer. Never mind. Leave me alone. Um, and she goes, uh, are there any, uh, any captains around? Uh, yeah, Captain. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he goes back to sleep. <laughs> real fast, real fast. Anytime you message, it makes that ding, and that's being recorded. So please. Uh... Oh. Uh, yeah. so, not Period. Um, that I'm hearing outside. Is that the bells of the town center? I think it is. Um, so she's gonna raise her eyebrows and go. Uh, okay, and then take out her dagger and flip over the desk and put a dagger to his throat. Uh, it's more of a booth, like a um. Okay. Or the so he's like on the other side of the window kind of thing. There's a window. It's not like a window, but like a it's it's more like a um like a s- stand if that makes any sense. It, it's it's like a food truck. He's basically in a. W- can booth. I can I jump inside? Sure. <laughs> okay, I want to do that and put my dagger to his throat and ask him, "Are there any captains around, sir?" Roll intimidation. Uh, eighteen. Ah, fuck! What? <laughs> uh, no, there, there are any captains. We're not expecting any boats for a while or ships. They're called ships. That's what sailors call them, I guess. <laughs> she goes, "Yes, that is what we call them." Good job. Can you navigate me to the nearest uh, person that apparently gives a fuck, please? Thank you. Uh, he just kind of laughs and is like, sorry, it's, it's, I'm the only one here right now. A- and I'm the only one here ever. This is where I live, I guess. Good to know. <laughs> so then she'll jump back out to the other side. Um... Um, she does just, he, uh, does kind of pull himself together and look at you and like actually talk. He's like, no, I'm, I'm just kind of here to, 
check shipments every once in a while and make sure nothing, you know, too bad is happening. You uh, know what I you know what I mean? Nothing too bad, nothing yeah. You know what I mean. Uh she's going to lean on the Is there like a spot that she could like lean over and like like whisper close? Like yeah. she can put her hands on. She's going to lean on lean over and just go the best way to keep things from happening would be to get me what I want. Now, wouldn't it? I can't get you what you want because no ships are in. Exactly. So what I do want is a ship. So oh. if there are anything that I could mm, borrow for an extended amount of time. So there's lo like looking <laughs> out and around, there's literally no. Oh, shit. He said well, there was. There are like fishing vessels, but they're not like ocean worthy. Yeah, we could stick to the shore. That's fine. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah, you could you could steal a fishing boat. I don't care. Uh, and she she'll go and tap on the and go right to boy. <laughs> All right, so um, I'll leave you with this, and she'll leave her uh <clears throat> uh. Her um special her special juice um on the thing. So this is for you. Um, I'll bring uh, it uh, back uh, later. And then um, uh, she turns a special juice. Um, <laughs> and she goes enjoy and uh, thank you for all your help. And then she goes, "Ahoy, mates! We have ourselves a vessel." And then just walks to the nearest ship and starts setting it up. I think Andrew turns to the. Uh... Doc Master goes, I hear that's really good with whiskey. I, I <laughs> that. She just kind of mouths what the fuck and pulls the screen down on the booth. <laughs> so, and the words close to people. <laughs> um, it is, yeah, evening. You can go down to the docks and try and take a ship. Need oh, I remind oh. you, Logan is not with you. you have not yeah. paid. <laughs> um, Logan, Logan's not with us, and I. I we haven't wanna... been paid. We had what a couple hundred gold coming our way from that. You had one hundred and more upon the safe return of um the the two adventurers. And also, I Rangers, guess we're right. Yeah, you're just kind of waiting for that check to come in. Also, I guess they, we're they're, murdering they're bit... somebody. <laughs> no, you gave them poison. <laughs> Madeladonna murdered someone. I don't know. I don't no. know about it. Murder. I guess that's fair. Um... Um... Gonna come back to this town, and all the horses will be closed for us, and the Huxtable will be like, "There's a murderer out on the docks." <laughs> I think uh, I think we should circle back, tell Radish that maybe we found a boat, not maybe mention how we found a boat. And Andrew would suggest, I think we should go ask about our payment so that we we desire. Um, Bella's going to nod, but continue setting up the. Well, you would you would we would go back to Radish and. Yeah, you don't need the boat right now, and setting it up is just untying it, basically. No, there's more to that. <laughs> it's a fishing boat. Yeah, it's it's not complicated. <laughs> um, is there some place that I could bring it that's not at the at the docks oh, at the docks, so that I could like, um, like tie it to some rocks on a a different shore, so that I could still get to it. I never really kind of uh, explained what this is like, but um, the this is kind of like the only shore. Okay. Like there are steep cliffs on either side of the town, basically. Mm -hmm. Like this is a uh, canyon. Okay, so basically what you're saying is I have to come back and steal another boat another time. Yes. Okay. So we'll or the that. same boat at another time. Okay. I think we I think we need to go collect radish and collect our earnings because we did our part of the job. Legally, we did everything that was asked of us. That's one. Yeah. 
We do kept it on uh kept it kosher. Kept it kept it for the most part. Oh, uh, kosher is not the word that I would use. Uh, yes. <laughs> it was unconventional, yes, but uh, we did fulfill our end. Okay. Yeah, there was no, there was no uh, uh, pork involved. There was no, um, you know, no meat with dairy. It's totally kosher. I really want to name this episode an unconventional poisoning or something. <laughs> um, yeah. So I guess you you meet back up at the Red Pot Pub. Yeah. All right. Um, and. You gather up Radish and head over to the uh, ranger station. Yeah. And uh, when you get back, it is evening. It is dark. Um, you head in, but outside you do notice Sasha's there. I immediately go over to pet Sasha. Um, Sasha recognizes you and it. she doesn't walk over to you. She's kind of like does that cat thing where she pretends she doesn't want pet. Oh, yeah. She walks kind of in front of me and just out of my hand's reach, looking away, but then occasionally looks back. Yeah. Uh, when, once you start petting, she seems perfectly fine. Aww. Looks oh. like uh, looks like they got back. No, no biggie. Let's go collect payment. Yeah, you go in, and um, Captain Breda is there uh, sitting down. She does look pretty dinged up. She has a big bandage going over one of her eyes. And there's quite a bit of blood on her face. Oh no! Oh, oh no! What? Uh, and she's talking about the battle with the beast and how uh, she got in some good hits on it, and it eventually got her eye, but she got its eye in return. Wow! Holy shit! That's, uh, <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty badass. Do you want me to? Um. Uh... Uh, stop the bleeding with cure wounds. I can't bring your eye back, but it can at least take away the pain. Uh, she puts up a hand and says, "No, nah, er- everything's pretty fine. I'm getting. Uh, she's not bleeding. It is dried blood. Like the worst of it has been healed. Oh, uh, that's good. At least. Hey, um, did you learn anything more about that mysterious figure you you were fighting? Man, with? you you and that stone faced guy, huh? Um." Captain Breda is kind of hushed, and um, you didn't really ask, but Nicola is there too, but he's not regaling the story. He's just kind of in a corner, smiling as she uh, says it. And um, he walks over to you and kind of brings you over to a corner. And uh, he says to you, we do not know who that was. And I cannot say for sure, but... I do not think that man was a man or an elf or anything else. And um, he looks down and says, after the battle, he said to us to grow and believe and left. And I swear on my life, that mask was not a mask. What? Oh. To grow and believe, and that was his. Their oh, face. His, that was the face. Wow. I do not wish to talk of it. And it is ill omen. Have they not heard of exfoliation? Did you get a sense that I could? I am looking to train while I'm here. Did you get a sense that I could find them again? He just kind of grunts and says i do not think so but if you wish to train i would recommend you to the tribe of which i belong <laughs> we are all great hunters i and i am here with the rangers to learn what i can as a sort of uh student exchange program you might say yeah we had those all the time at the monastery. I um, oh. I w- wish to learn. Um, where could we, where could we find you if we wanted to train or find members of your tribe? If that's not too invasive a question to ask. 
just head west. There is a jungle, and you will find them. I... It sounds like a plan. Westward. It is not much of a plan. <laughs> it's a great plan. I have a but jungle. But if you are looking to travel, I wish you the best of luck. And actually, the, the captain owes you some uh, payment, I believe. Yes, I I believe it was 150 and, I don't know, something. I'd say whatever the payment was. Uh, he motions for Bretta to come over, and um, she's like, oh yeah, I suppose I, we should thank you, and also our noble comrades, the two. Oh, they're not here right now. <laughs> Weird. Oh, <laughs> I was going to yeah. introduce you guys. They, um... I think they went out to find you, and um, honestly, I don't care about oh, them. Oh <laughs> no, they were, they were here earlier. Oh, okay. They found us on our way back. Um, oh, that's good. They don't seem to be here right yeah, now. That's yeah, too that's bad. all all we need to hear about them, really. Uh, and uh, she whistles, and um, a uh, school uh, dwarf brings forth a uh, a safe. She inputs a combination and puts in a key. And pays you a uh, hundred and twenty gold each. Is that each? No, no. Oh, total. Split. Um. So among four of us, everybody happy with um getting forty gold? Uh, sure. Yes. Wait, is that a hundred and twenty split? Oh, that would be thirty. Oh, thirty, 30 gold, gold, gold between right. us all. Thirty gold. Um, did, did they, er, jog my memory, did they originally say they were going to pay us 150 on safe arrival? Uh, maybe it was a certain amount for person. You know what? 150. That's fair. If I oh. said it early, if I said it earlier and let that's me, what you have written down. Uh, let me check my, my guide, but, or my, um. Notes, because I have at one twenty here. If it's I may have slipped up and said one fifty. Um. Ranger station. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. I don't really have it written down here. So you guys get good. Let's do one fifty. Uh, you guys um, did real good. You you survived a. Uh, Giant monster. <laughs> so how much is that per person? Oh, oh, 30, 37.5. So 37 gold plus... Um, five silver. Five silver. Yeah. Yes. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, and uh, she thanks you for your service, and all hey, if you Ever in St. Dennis, uh, visit the, the ranger station sometime. I think you'd make good recruits. Well, as I understand it, our next stop is St. Dennis, so that's good to know. Uh, that sounds she, like a narrative direction. She takes her stuff that has a um, uh, the image of like a wolf on it and an arrow and oh, uh, hands it to you and says... Uh, this should be good enough. It's kind of like a red shimmering color with gold. Good enough for what? As like a... a... Ah, I, I, see, I see what you said. Just say, okay. Captain Bread, I gave it to you. Good to know we have this. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. So if... um. Remind me, uh, we had a, another mission we could do there by St. Dennis. We could um, check on the watchtower there, right? Uh, she sent off other people to go check uh -huh. on that. Yeah, but... and we, we're going to be taking a boat. You missed that part. We are... Uh, uh, oh! We, yeah, we might have gotten some passage. Oh, oh my and god. We kinda move around Although she kind of mentions that, that uh, she hasn't heard back from that yet. Low priority. Hmm. Well, maybe we could just just stop, you know, on our way to St. Dennis. That oh, I don't think I don't think there's a river outlet there. There, 
Well, so be it. Uh, you know, if we can't do it, we can't do it. I'm excited to ride on a boat, uh, this time above deck. It's, All uh, right. That, oh, that would make us... Yeah, it would be nice to not get seasick. Well, that doesn't... That doesn't get affected. No, when you're up high, you're closer to the sky, so you would get sky sick, right? Yeah, that's how that works. Okay. <laughs> uh, and with that, um, Bretta sets back down and continues her story of how she narrowly avoided death and uh, ended up crawling back with Nicola. Um, they found Sasha, their loyal steed, and rode back um, to tell the tale. And there, there's like drinks being handed out um, while she's list- while she's talking. And now you kind of have a rival story to your Rat King one. Um, oh, wow. The story of Captain Breda and the Drake. Well, she kind of deserved that one, so that's fine. Honestly, uh, ours was just a guy in a mask. So. <laughs> <laughs> Who could uh, talk to rats? Um, yeah, so I think we'll leave it there, but um, you are all level three now. Yeah. Oh, nice Ooh, are we um um who else likes to roll for their HP? Am I the only one who does that? Uh yeah. I just have it do by itself. Ah ha ha. Well I am going to roll for my HP here. So I will edit my character. I've been keeping a list of all my <gasps> rolls so I can keep track of everything. I get a rogus archetype now. Yeah. Oh say, yeah. Yeah. That's where all the fun stuff. Happens. You know what? You guys just want to record this a little bit, go one at a time. Sure. Maybe split. Maybe uh, do like a half episode. Uh, <sighs> maybe. Hi all, it's Dan, your editor, producer, all around dude. I've got nothing. Anyway, um, hey, it's been a while since we were consistent, and that's on me. Um, sorry about that. Things have been kind of crazy, and I'm I edited this one so early, so I know it'll be ready. I, I hope that uh, we can we can keep this momentum a going. Anyway, I just wanted to pop in at the end and say thanks for listening. First of all, you all are great, especially since we have been so inconsistent. Um, but also to tell you how you can get a hold of us on the social medias and other places on the internet. Wow, my new chair creaks. Um, hold on a second. All right. Uh... <laughs> So, first of all, we have Kristen, which is Kiki the Girl with two eyes in Kiki, K-I-I-K-I-I, uh, on Twitter, and Kiki the Girl Cosplay, which is single eyes in Kiki on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, so, yeah. So, go go check out her stuff. Zach is at Invading Duck on everything, as per usual, just like how Corey is still at Coffee or Die on everything. Um, last I checked, he's still writing for Don't Feed the Gamer, so feel free to go check them out. Um, Logan is at LLFC Poster Child, um, and I think I've mentioned this before, but just to make sure it's documented. That does stand for, uh, the Logan Lawn Fan Club Poster Child. So, I guess Anthony Michael Hall is really, really, a uh, big fan of Logan. Anyway because he is the same person. Uh, go check out his stuff and all of his uh, tweets and Instagrams and stuff. And then for me, uh, my Twitter is FlynnRider1993. Um, and most of the time you can find me on Twitch at Philosophy Kid Gaming on Tuesdays, Thursdays now. Change it up, switch it up. Two times a week. Twice the disappointment. Anyway, uh, quick thank you to Isaac Dillman for writing the music for this show. Um, I will make sure to link his SoundCloud, uh, in either the description or somewhere because his music is phenomenal. Uh, and if you make fan art, there's a hundred percent chance it will end up on the, uh, Instagram and Twitter for RP Geniuses, uh, which is all at RP Geniuses. So 
feel free to follow the group, follow individuals, and if you make art, we'll share it. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Last thing I just want to say is make sure that if you've got a friend who you think would like the show, share with them. They they pro they would probably appreciate it, and I know I would. I know I know Corey would. I know Kristen and Zach would. Logan also would appreciate it. I can tell you that. Anyway, um, have a good week, y'all. We'll see you again in two weeks. God, I really want to see you guys again in two weeks. Bye.